got here we got uh my brother and from new york he's a photographer um wanted to come on and look at the crx drive it you know experience the the turbo uh crx with ac you know this is like a little unicorn uh, it's, it's not something it's not something you see a lot of you know uh so you know driving it around doing a little photo shoot in this like little industrial area where they're building some you know some stuff but it's cool Hopefully we'll get some, well I know we're going to get some dope shots because I already saw some of the images that he was doing and they are looking pretty fly. So, this is the man himself in action. Um, on IG it's Pixel Perfect NYC. I'll put his handle up. That way you guys can check him out and see some of his work. I hate that. Um, you can line up your seats. Yeah, I can do that. This one's like leaning back a little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of tall. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I do that one because of Mia. I want to make sure it's nice and up, mm -hmm. you know? So I can tip that one back a little bit if you oh, want. Yeah, whatever you do. Okay. There's a little fly. Oh, right, there's one right by your ear. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because they know the CRX is the shit. And they're like, yo, let me get on this. <laughs> Get a, a car hopping vibe. My gallon of water a day, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a little, a little creeper. I think it'll be a good spot because uh, when this is down you can still reach it I was gonna put it that center but I don't like that idea I don't really want to put it to the side I think this is gonna be a good spot right here and then I can boom grab if I need to right there. yo what up so um, I'm making this real quick just cuz um, it's a very big possibility this car will be sold um, by the time this video comes out or, um, yeah, probably by the time the video's out, the car might be sold. Um, I've been wanting to build an EK hatch. Um, so I feel like with this project, I've had fun building it. I feel like, um, uh, you know, my vision came to life, which was a turbo CRX with air conditioning, with heater, making good power that you can pretty much daily. Um, and that was the, that was the, the dream. And I feel like I have accomplished that. Um, what I did do and I want to show before I, you know, got rid of the car was the final thing that I kind of wanted to wire in, which was this button. Don't mind the mess. Now, what this button does here is essentially when the car is going to be on. Um, let me shut that there because my fans are running. When the car is going to be on and if uh, I'm going to have to have Javi or the next owner might have to have Javi tune. Um, program it. I thought we did, but um, he might have to go in there and adjust it. But that button is actually um, tied into the computer double pin under there, like I mentioned before. And I also, sorry, Wu Tang for life. I also um, tied it into 
in the dash. Man, you can't see nada over here. Let me see. Okay, you can see a little better there. Um, let me see if I could turn the light on so I can see better. All right, you'll see better now. Okay, cool. So that, let me see if I get in here. That little box there, right? What that is, is, let me shut this radio off. Is um, basically on the original HF models. Let me get the steering wheel out of the way. On the original HF models, uh, that piece was the upshift light for um, the most, um, what do you call it, uh, fuel economy the HF models have. I've always wanted to wire that into something, and that's what I did. So what this button's going to do for the next owner, once this program is going to allow them to have like a rolling anti-lag that's going to be programmed into the Neptune um, flash that we have there. And once you push that button, that light will be indicated to show that you're you're doing your rolling anti-lag, which I think is pretty pretty freaking dope. Um, it was kind of a bitch to um, uh, wire in because you can't eliminate that little box in the back. So I just basically had to bypass it and run a separate bulb and use it to ground out. But this is essentially what's going to happen. Um, you hit the button, right? And let's see if you get that angle. You're going to have your little upshift light but that's really going to be your anti-boost your anti-lag um for rolling runs you're basically uh keep it under 60 miles an hour hit the button floor it it should hold that about we programmed it or we're going to program it to 4700 rpm and then when you let go it allows you you know during that time it's going to spool up and boom um anti-lag so i wanted to show that feature uh pretty much in the last video and hopefully i can get some clips of the new buyer if the deal goes through. So stay tuned or you'll see you next. <laughs> there she goes, man. Oof. I ain't gonna lie, it's not an easy moment. Not an easy moment seeing my baby drive away. Wow. Oof, and the street is flooded. Right. So guys, this is the, the new build. The CRX is gone. I've been wanting to do a EK hatch again, uh, particularly either silver or white. I found the silver one. This is a 2000. Um, obviously it's gonna get all completely redone like I did the CRX. So it'll have new paint uh, and everything's already ordered. So new suspension, new wheels, uh, camber, front and rear, um, front lip, Front grill, type R wing in the back, type R lip in the back. Um, very clean though. This is a clean little setup. I got to do a whole custom exhaust on it. It's got a a Megan exhaust tip, which looks nice, but it's it's disgustingly loud. Uh, and anybody that knows me that knows I don't like loud, loud cars. I'm too old for that crap. You can see that the body needs work there, so that's why I'm gonna get a car fully resprayed. Uh, but this is an amazing platform. I'll tell you that right now. Um, super clean interior uh eventually i will do um buddy club racing seats momo steering wheel on the inside uh and the motor on this car has already got uh a b16 a2 sir2 motor in there so um this is it stay tuned for the the build on this one i'm gonna sell those rims i do not like them um but it's a very good platform. Good start.